Well, here we have the Veravon Armor Pocket Cage. And this is for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. You can see the contents here. And here's the cage itself. And if you look closely, you can see that these are the different inputs on the side of the camera. And there's a, that is an Allen wrench hole, and these are little twist knobs. And it allows you to secure the actual cable or plug into the camera where it doesn't fall out. It is limited in space, so depending on the size of the cable itself, you may only be able to use a couple at a time. And these quarter 20 thread screws right here are for the top and the bottom of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, and it secures it into the rig. What you will notice a little later on is that even though I'm just using my fingers at the moment to screw the actual items in, uh, it's not tight enough to actually stop movement. And here you can see that the, the lens itself is too big for this particular lens body, so you have to take it off first and then gently put it inside the cage. So like I said, I'm not using actual screwdriver. I'm just using my finger for demonstration purposes, just to screw it in enough, just so you can see it. But I will say, I have screwed it in super tight before or already with a screwdriver, and it puts impressions on the actual body of the camera, where the circular openings are on the actual cage itself. And it's hard to see it show up on camera, so I'm not going to show it, but it did put impressions on it. And I'll show at the end of the video how you might be able to fix that. One thing I'm not a fan of is the actual hand grip. Uh, I like the grip without the cage, but adding the cage to it adds a, it makes it a little larger. And now the grip uh, mold here seems a little too small. And I debated between this and the tilted cage. And now I wish for that purpose, I like the tilted design better how they added a wood handle. I just like the colorway for this particular Veravon better. And you can see here how it's kind of wiggles back and forth. And those are the quarter 20 holes that uh, put pressure against the metal body and it puts scratches on it. Here's the riser plate. Make sure you have the actual logo facing away from the camera. And that's the balance plate. And that allows you to balance the depending on the lens you're using. And if you look at the actual spin wheel, there's a, uh, uh, for the tightening, there's a Allen wrench hole. And that's how you can make it tighter than if you can't screw it too much tight in there. But if you see those little ridges right here, line those up and make sure the Veravon uh, logo is uh, facing away from the camera. And you go ahead and screw that in. And then you put the balance plate on and you can pretty much align it up with any hole that you like as long as it's balanced with the whatever lens that you're using. Now you can go ahead and take these rods. These rods are shorter than typical rods and I use them for my shoulder rig as well. And they're a little too short so depending on how you are you might have to get a longer one. Now if you look at this, those little spin knobs or tightening knobs, they actually lift up the spring activated so you can always open it out and twist it along. And if you look closely at this rod, it's some kind of carbon fiber material, but it's actually shreds. It kind of looks like it's had wood peels on the corner. And this is the actual handle that you can put on top, and you can turn it either way if you like. Go ahead and screw that in, but this is how it looks. You can add a file of focus, a matte box, and the riser plate allows for larger lenses to fit on the smaller body onto a tripod. And if you look on the bottom here, I think some of the edges were a little rough on the circles or on the holes itself, and I think that's what rubs on the actual body when you make it really tight. And what you could do is probably get some felt or something sticker felt or something and put it on the inside or the lining of these holes so it doesn't scratch your body. Here is how it looks uh, from a hole if you want to look at it. And that's pretty much it. And this is the Veravon Black Magic Pocket Cinema Armor Cage.